It's Monday, July 4th, and you're listening to a brand new episode of The Julian Dion Show with Jen Grant. Thank you very much. Happy Independence Day to our American friends and listeners. And uh, and that's that. We're doing things a little bit differently now on the show. We're pre-recording these episodes. That's right. We're taking the guesswork out of it. There's too many elements that came into play with live streaming that could go wrong at any any given time. And as you know, um, I can't, I can't get past that shit for some reason. That's on me. So we're now pre-recording the episodes. We're still doing them live in one take. Unedited fun. Anyway, so we pre-recorded this episode on Friday, July 1st on Canada Day. And uh, so what do we talk about on today's episode, Canada Day weekend? We talk about that. We get into it. Why can't I say Canada Canada Day? Canada Day weekend. <clears throat> we also talk about my next uh, viral trend that I'm about to launch into. And by next, I mean first ever viral thing. Um, we also talk what we're watching. We talk uh, Better Call Saul, Stranger Things, and Game of Thrones. What is this, 2017? Wait, hold on. Uh, uh, what is this, 2017? Thank you. <laughs> and is COVID really a thing? It's, it seems to be making a comeback, and we uh, could care less. We have no place for it. Anyway, we also do the Daily Dose with Jen Grant and so much more. Uh, it's, so enjoy this new pre-recorded uh, episode. Uh, what's the difference to you? Well, not much. We're still releasing episodes Mondays and Wednesdays. and um, But when you go on YouTube, we're trying to build up the YouTube page. So when you go on YouTube, it'll be better picture quality. It'll be, instead of streaming from the country, it's going to be uh, in HD. So enjoy us uh, in HD, if you will. Anyway, let's get to the show, why don't you? Why don't we? Why don't we? This episode is also brought to you by Cookie Jar, spelled K O O K I J A R dot com. Head on over to Cookie Jar and enter promo code JD Show in all caps for 15% off and free shipping anywhere in Canada. Cookie Jar, you put your weed in it. <laughs> also, join us for the after show. That's right. We have an after show, we have a Patreon. If you head on over to patreon.com slash JD Show Pod for the Julian Dion after show with Jen Grant. And Jordan Grant, it gets uh, it gets wild on the after show. It gets uh, the gloves come off. Yeah, I know. It's a uh, it's uh, it's a whole other show. That should be the tagline. And when I say should be, it is. Why why? Anyway, thank you for subscribing. Uh, if you haven't yet, leave a review on Apple Podcasts. It makes a big difference to us. It helps uh, grow the show. Talk about the show. Share the show. But you all have that purple app on your iPhone. It's there. Just it's open the app, search the Julian Dion Show with Jen Grant. Leave a review, would you kindly? Thank you so much. Enjoy this episode, and it all starts now. She's <laughs> like, <laughs> no, it's cute. Thank you. It's um, it's cute, and we are on. <laughs> Welcome to a brand new episode of the Julian Dion Show with Jen Grant. I'm trying right. it. Uh, getting into it dry, bone dry, no intro song, because trying to build our YouTube um, channel, oh. and we always get copyright claims for Garage, as much as I love Garage Baby's waste, beautiful waste of time, Aww. it's been our staple forever, but every single uh, video gets dinged with copyright, even though they gave us rights to use them, there's this whole rigmarole, all these hoops you have to jump through to actually make Drag. it legit. But I think, and I was talking to Jordan about this, um, I think it affects our algorithm. Oh my God, the dog. I know. Anyway, welcome to a brand new episode. Episode. Every time I say episode, it sounds so French. So French. Episode. Welcome to a brand new episode. 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 Julie Lee, you know, with Jen Grant and uh, producer Jordan, live and direct from Montreal. Happy hey, Canada hey. Day. Happy yes. Canada Day. Happy Canada Day. Happy Sea Day. We are pre-recording these now. We've uh, decided because it leaves uh, too many uh too much uh up for um too too much room for error doing live streams. There's all these little yeah. elements. So we're pre-recording and by the way, I have to say the quality looks so much better. You now have a good camera on you finally. You look great. Thank you. No, you know what? Anyway, it's Canada Day. Thanks for uh, doing a show, ladies. Oh, <laughs> do that again. There. How long? How long? That's a new thing. How long do you? Th how old do you think that thing is? The hand hearts, Joj. You can't see, but um, 
I think it's been around for a while. Yeah. Oh, I, you know who made it famous? Who? Any guesses? Uh, yes, go I ahead. do. Go ahead. Um, what's her name that's married to uh, Oz, Ozzy Osbourne? Sharon Osbourne. Did she do it? I think so. I think she was one of the first to like do it uh, on TV consistently. I remember when she did it, and I thought, ugh. God, I know it's funny. I eh? like we <laughs> when you see things for the first time, like now I'm doing it and it's like no big deal. But when you see it for the first time, you're like, oh, come on. Come on. Jeepers. Mm-hmm. Anyway, the feed that looks way better now that we're just record pre-recording these. It looks like a real show. So we're going to keep releasing them every Mondays and Wednesdays. 10 a.m. because we're going to be doing them on Fridays and then for the Monday and then Tuesdays for the Wednesday. So. That's that's that. Love it. The studio is a disaster right now, full of receipts all over the place. Mm-hmm. And um, by the way, isn't comedy so finicky? I know I'm all over the map right now, but in, okay. in the way that how you can go from feeling like well-oiled machine, I'm a comic, just firing on all cylinders, jumping on stage, as you've described it, uh, when you came back from your first tour at West. Yep. And then you don't do it for like six days and you're like, I'm not even a comedian anymore. Can I do it? Do I have more than 10 minutes? I know. And then you think, how does that happen? How am I going to remember all that stuff? Like, uh, it's been so, the last couple of years have been so like, so feast or famine. It's like two months. It feels, well, yes, definitely. For months and months, we didn't perform comedy and I went longer than you, I think. And then I think, oh, I've got this gig booked. And because I've been doing it 20 plus years, I'm like, well, no problem. I'm just going to go and do it. And then I'm like, I've never gone this long with not doing it. So am I going to remember every parts of the jokes? Like, how much will your brain remember? And there is a lot of muscle memory, thank God. Like, it, as soon as you start performing, you just remember things. I know. But right now, as it stands, I'm like, I do not feel like a comedian or human being. I know. Summer's so weird, too. It's I just, know. like, all over the place. It is. Anyway. Like the weather, you mean? Uh, no, just, like, shows and everything. It's I just know. a schedule. I'm like, you, you go, am, am I, do I have too much free time right now? Is this, am I, Definitely. did I either crack the code or am, should I be doing a lot of stuff? I think that it's, you know, I was thinking about that. When you have too much time to think, it's not good. Like, we, I think it's our nature to, it's good to have some time to think, but if you're thinking too much and in your head, it's not, I think we're, we're meant, humans are meant to do things. Yeah. Do you find that, Jordan? If you have too much time to like think and sit around and think too that's much. That's beautiful. But oh yeah, that's how you overthink everything. Yeah. Which I think is definitely a more modern thing. We're not human doings, we're human beings. <laughs> Hi. But like back in the day, you know, people used to make their own everything. So you were busy, and and you know we don't have kids, so that who leaves up you and I. We don't. <laughs> Fur babies. What do you call? Yeah, I was just gonna say, what do you call this sweet angel in front of I us? Know. Uh, hmm. 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 Like Jordan, you don't have any pets or kids. No, I do not. <laughs> do you have any plants? <laughs> Yeah, do you have any plants? Um, I have a couple, yeah. Well, they, uh, do you find them hold, holding you down? Are they high maintenance, low maintenance? Are they cacti? Cacti would have to be the least maintenance You'd think, of all but plants. I've, I've killed them. I think that yeah, was, I'm not uh, the greatest plant owner. Well, maybe we can change that. I don't know what that means or how. I that was a Dimitri Martin joke back in the day, I think, what is it? or Zach Galifianakis, or someone one of the one-liners. I think maybe Dim- Dimitri Martin. He says uh, it was like I had a cactus and it died, which means that I'm less nurturing than a desert. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. That's really good. That's a good joke. Good, 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 concise <clears throat> joke. Yeah. Well, here we are. Here we are. It's Canada Day. It's uh, for us right now. By the time you're listening this to, to this, it's no longer Canada Day. It's for, and also on top of Canada Day, it's the five year anniversary of uh, moving into this house. Wow, we this house. I can't believe it. I um, actually. Oh yes, I meant to say this. So now we're pre recording the shows. We're releasing them every Mondays and Wednesdays. The, the downfall is, and I'll get back to the five year. 
The downfall is now we're pre-recording episodes, and the bonus of doing them live is I couldn't edit anything. It was one take, Tony and Tina, and um, we would just... And Tiffany from Montreal. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany. <laughs> trying to think of another T word. A T name. You're anyway, so not a Tiffany, Jordan. I know. N- Thank like, you. Not even close. Um, and... Unless you you bleached your bl- your hair platinum blonde and got um, super heavy duty eyelash extensions, mm-hmm. and you got long um, gel nails with a little loop in one of them, you know how you can have a mini ring on one oh of the gel boy. nails. That's a Tiffany move. Oof. Oh my gosh, that's intense. Anyway, um, but now that we re- pre-recorded these things. I'm I'm again slipping into where it was before back in the day where I get hypercritical of things no. and I'm like I'm gonna edit that out. Okay. No. Well, the last episode I didn't put up because it was really obnoxious. I said some just obnoxious things, and you know what? I th- I thought we'll put it up on Patreon. Oh yeah, because people really want that on Patreon. A shitty episode. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Last episode was terrible. Uh, to see it. Pay us. Yeah, we don't want the general public who get it for free to hear this, but you. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't post it. So we recorded it on what Tuesday for Wednesday was it or something like that? Mm-hmm. And on Wednesday, I'm like, I just couldn't. I don't know. I was talking about the covered bridge. I admitted my most degenerate uh, new habit that I've now done four times, um, which also spawned the idea four of a times. detention. <laughs> which <laughs> so is so. Now- has it been every night since you mentioned it? No, no, that because that was on Tuesday, and I, that had been three times I had done it. Oh, and at that point, yeah, and we're Friday, okay. and it's uh, f- I've done it once okay. other time. I don't want to wake up every time and do it, and but that spawned the idea of a potentially new viral TikTok idea, right? But jo- you, uh, J- Jordan clearly uh, very intellig- intelligently mentioned that I should just start p- posting more regularly to kind of prime have you been? prime the algorithm, and then release my brilliant idea but no i haven't i just i don't i, I don't know i overthink tiktoks i know i go what could be the next groundbreaking thing yeah and then i don't do it but you just got to do it post up the numbers i know but having said that the reason i i brought up that episode because i admitted to some things i said some disgusting things available exclusively on patreon.com oh slash jd show pod which by the way we have an after show every episode mondays and wednesdays exclusively available on patreon.com slash JD show pod, the Julian Dion after show with Jen Grant and Jordan Grant. It's a whole other show. All right. We've done uh, now there's 17 episodes up there. We do some Mariah or Yoko's. We do anywhere from five minutes to 40 minutes. We've had our guests go into, uh, into the after show with us. They stuck around. So if you want to hear my new destructive habit, that is very helpful actually. And we, Wait out the pros and cons on the last episode, and, and there's Did more you pros do it and last cons. Night? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, anyway, and I did it, and it also happens to be the five year anniversary. This full circle coming back uh, of us getting our house, moving in, getting the keys to this house that we're in now. And when we got the keys five years ago, we had an eight a.m. appointment at the notary in Gatineau to get the keys. But we were staying at your mom's place in, at Turtle Cottage in Farm Point. And uh, I woke up. I was so excited. I woke up at 1.30 in the morning and crushed a couple of uh, Mill Street Organics in the glass bottle, the clear glass bottle. I remember sitting in a recliner the details. downstairs with Georgie, our little kitten, and popping a Aww. couple. And I felt on top of the world. I couldn't believe we were about to get a new house. And then we got the keys and the rest is history. But... It all comes full circle because I did it last night, this new uh, habit. Of degenerate habit? Degenerate self-help, available It'd exclusively be, at Patreon.com. That would be a funny book, you know? It would be all the stuff you're not supposed to do. It, it is, but although, it works. although a degenerate writing a book is kind of an oxymoron. I mean, is it ever going to happen? I feel like writing a book is the least degenerate thing you can do as far as you need no to be one's organized. No it it's like amount. that, though. No, but I mean, I can't. I'm I'm truly a g- degenerate. So I'm the idea of writing a book is extremely daunting and and. I'm not gonna insane. lie. While you're saying that, and I'm looking around the studio, it is insane in here. I know. <laughs> it's a degenerate's paradise. <laughs>
Degenerate. In spending most our pod. Um, Living in a degenerate paradise. I was going to say bickering. <clears throat> bickering in a degenerate's paradise. You fuck off. Ah, geez, why? Mm, you know why. Jordan, um, what are you doing today for C Day? So, by the way, it's, it's, I, it, I'll, also having said that, the last five years we've spent Canada Day. First year we got the house. We were not interested in doing anything. We we're in a new house. It was like we were whippersnipping around. And consecutive four years after that, including this year, we're not doing anything. We just stay home. That's fine. I love it. Yeah. It's overrated. There's a p- uh, parade happening in Wakefield today. And you can't, is it, is it um, last year or the year before because of uh, the residential schools and all that, the, the, uh, they really didn't celebrate? Was it last year or two years ago already? Hmm. I've lost track. I think two years. Wow. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah, wow. because last year I don't think we could even do anything because it was like deep pandemic time. Right. So it's, uh, this year's like the first year back. Did you? Uh, yeah, you- except Ottawa. You can't even go downtown because there's more truckers coming. It's like, what the hell? Why are they coming? There's no uh, mandate. No, there's nothing. Cares. I know. There's- I know. So the, you literally can't go down there because the security is so high. We're free. I went yesterday. I was recording something for uh, CBC Radio in French. Ooh. Ooh. And, uh, Ooh. and I went way early. I was about 50 minutes early before my call time, and I circled downtown Ottawa. It was on Queen Street for 40 minutes, 4-0. I was Insane. screaming. I got there. I'm like, oh my God, I'm nice and early. That never happens. I was like in a good mood. Do, do, do. I'm like, oh, can't park here. Special event thing. Oh, can't park here. Special event. 40 minutes later, I'm screaming in the car, uh, my face off. And um, f- finally found a place. Frantic though. Now I'm like, oh, now I'm just on time, on time. My call time was at 1.15. It's like 1.12. And I'm like running. I'm like park. I'm like, oh, I'm just like not... It's so early anymore. I call. I call them. I'm like, any suggestions for parking? He's like, oh, no. He goes, usually it's across the street, but that was full. Everything was. I ended up parking in some hotel, like two, three streets over. I didn't know where I was. It was one of those where you take an elevator, then you come out in an alley, oh, you turn around, that. and the door you just came out of, you can't go in again. So I'm like, how am I supposed to get back to the car? I'm just remembering this alley door or whatever, but I can't go back in anyway. <laughs> I get to the place all frantic. <laughs> And I go, uh, all frantic to the guy, I go, the parking here is insane. I go, this, like, playing the victim card. I go, this is like, I have 40 minutes I've been circling this building. I go, there should be, I go, what's, it's special event, special event, special event, uh, all these signs. I go, what's the special event? He goes, Canada Day tomorrow? I'm like, nah. oh my God, I'm an idiot. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> In the nation's capital. It's uh, 18 hours before the biggest day of the year here. And I'm like, what's going on? What's, hap- what's, what's happening around here? Can somebody tell me what's happening? Just the nation's <laughs> birthday. The guy looked at me like I was a, a psychopath. He's like, Canada Day, tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I felt so dumb. Don't you love it when someone's overreacting like that, playing the victim, and you get to be the person to reveal yes. to them how stupid they are? Like, that guy was probably like, uh, it's Canada Day. Like, to drop that bomb is such a good feeling. And it was such a bomb because I had I came at him with such energy of, like, I'm right. Yes. I was like, what's, go- what's going on around here? Like, And I think I've said, the, said this on the guy uh, on the podcast before. I was at the point of uh, exacerbation where you're, like, just address everybody. Like, guys, like, there's nobody <laughs> in particular, but you address the whole team. That's when somebody's the, at their wit's end. Address the whole scene. That's when somebody's at their wit's end. If you see someone in a customer service situation and they just go guys what's got guys what's going on here guys guys as soon as they say guys it's like you're putting (laughs) your hands up you're go you're addressing everybody you're you go seriously that's the energy i approached it with i'm like what's going on here you guys should have dedicated (laughs) parking to the cbc like it was so loaded what i was saying he's like canada day bud yeah ottawa and then I heard, yeah, some people saying that the truckers are coming back. Why? Well, by this point, we'll know if they came back or not. I don't even understand why. Well, it was going to be part of my daily dose, but um, that's okay. Well, let's talk about it now. No, so- we can go back to that, circle back. I <clears throat> sure. want to first touch on this then, since uh, you're, you'll be doing it for the daily dose. Do you guys find that the Canadian flag, I saw somebody post this on uh, on uh, Facebook, actually, friend of the show, she's a 
a guest. She's done it way back. Uh, Marta Chavez. She posted, seeing the Canada Day fl- uh, Canada Canada flag on Canada Day has it changed your perception uh, uh, of it when you see it waving around? And it has. It's crazy, right? It hasn't for me, but I know just what a you little mean. bit, just a little bit. Like yeah. when you see someone drive by and they have uh, a Canada flag in their window, you go, "Asshole." I guess. Well, yes, <laughs> but, but on, why? Yeah, but I think well because that's what the those truckers used in their. I know, but maybe protest. it's just a person that's just excited about the weekend or whatever. Well, now it's fine. If right. you see one now, I don't think most people would go trucker. Right. I right, don't right. think so, especially if it's around here. If it was Parliament Hill, d- given the context, you could be like, oh, it's it could be good chance it's, which is a shame. But I'm not letting them take that from me because right. I, I like, I am proud to be Canadian and I like the Canadian uh, flag and I don't want, I don't want them to win. So they're not going to take that from me. Who's them? They? <laughs> is it he or she? Um, Yeah. <laughs> excuse me all right but like two years ago you couldn't fly the flag or you felt weird because of all the uh, residential school mass graves and stuff that they were finding and now it's the trucker thing it's just just tainted yeah it doesn't have the same thing i'm meaning three years ago at a canada day thing or anywhere you saw a canadian flag fly you were uh you know maybe proud yeah Mm, anyway well i uh I wonder if they thought about that before they did the protest. Like, are they were they thinking, let's ruin the flag for everyone? No, they're genuinely being patriotic. I think. Oh, I mean, sorry, maybe. Ah, because <laughs> again, that annoying episode last episode. Oh, last two episodes have been so annoying. But now I'm zen. I'm trying to be more zen and fun. I like it. Yeah, you know what? This is what it's about. I encourage that. If it took like what. Two and a half years of listening to yourself on a podcast to figure that out. I know. I'm joking. I thought no, you were going to laugh true. at that. No, but it's it's true. It's uh, if I have a hard time listening to it, why would I expect strangers to listen to it? You know, that's one thing about stand up that, it, like, I hate watching myself, and I don't know a co- most comics. I think hate watching themselves, um, but it's the only way you learn about how you are. And what you look like. Like when you told yeah. me that um, a comedy club owner was saying that we p- we put our hands in our hair too much. Yep. What else did he say? We ask, ask questions. rhetorical questions a lot. It was yeah. Jason. You could say it. Yeah. So put, put our hands in our hair. I didn't even yep. know I did that. I know. Like I think we're so not aware. You know, I think most people are self-conscious, but we're also shockingly unaware of our own behavior right yep shockingly <laughs> shocking i am shocked so canada day canada day canada day so should i we mean by the time this comes out it won't be anymore yes correct but people have just <clears throat> experienced canada day not not long ago Oh, we're going to, by the way, I don't want to forget to uh, mention. <laughs> I, l- I, know, I just love you searching. We're like, Canada Day, Canada Day, Canada Day. I'm like, well, it's over. Yes, but not long ago. <laughs> I <laughs> sound like one of those like old timey, not long ago. You sound like the uh, time. the medium that, uh, yes, dear boy. Hmm, yes, ugh, yes. Ugh. The one that uh, took over. It was like a <laughs> yes, 18th century boy. medium k- took over. Ugh. Yes. Oh, uh, and then she was crying. There's tissues in my medium's purse in her office. Yes. It's like, okay. Yes. What, who's believing any of this at this point? Yes. What was that? Surviving death? Yes. Yes, dear boy. Oh, hmm. please. It's so gross. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I did, did I? Did, yes, I did talk about when I went to Sandy. Mm-hmm. I got to re-listen to that. See if, <laughs> see if anything's happening. <laughs> um. Jordan, have have you started watching Better Call Saul? No, I have not. Okay, I'm then sorry. Th- no, don't be sorry because then you can't be mad that we haven't started watching Stranger Things. Yet. Okay, but that is you need to watch it. Yeah, well, you need to watch Better Call Saul. No, I don't think you understand. Things? What? Oh my goodness! Yeah, but I don't think you understand <laughs> how good Better Call Saul is. I love that. Finally, you guys are butting heads. It's always you two against me. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, well, the finale of Stranger Things is out today, so I'll watch that first, oh. and then I'll, then I'll... Well, it's hard, too, because we started... Wa- Before you suggested that, we started watching Game of Thrones, and now we're mm. really into it. Have you seen that? No, I have not. It's really good. It's really, You're really... into it. I am, too. It's so But violent, I missed so though. many. Like, we watched three episodes yesterday. I was awake for about 20 minutes total in three hours. <laughs> Uh, I didn't even the know first, the first one I watched about eight minutes the second one I slept the whole way <laughs> uh, opening credits and closing way. credits is uh, it's, uh, that's it and the third uh, one I slept the first Aww. seven minutes or so and can I just hey admit- what about um, Only Murders in the Building that's out again oh yeah oh, we yeah. gotta watch that I feel like you're not caught up I feel like I watched the last two three episodes of the mm. first season by myself you weren't into it that much I yes loved I it. am what? I love it what well, are you why did about? you let me watch the last couple? I feel I, like you didn't finish. No, I love it. I don't know mm. why you're saying that. I don't know why you're so mad. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we, could, we could, I don't know. We could work it How out. How dare you? <laughs> it is a good show. That's a comforting show. Everything about it. Isn't yes, it? It's cozy. As soon as you start, the, the, I don't know. I love it. What is that on? Disney Plus or Apple Plus or Apple TV? Disney. Yeah, I love I love that, and I also really like you're falling asleep at Game of Thrones, but I don't think it's because you don't like Game of Thrones, and I'm shocked you can sleep. It's so uh, crazy, like it's. Well, yeah, I'll be sleep. I'll be sl- sorry. I'm eating. Um, can't hear anything. I'll be sleeping, and then I'll open my eyes, and there's just like someone's throat being slit open, <laughs> and blood flying everywhere. Then I pass out again. And I'm <laughs> probably not healthy for the subconscious mind. I know. I thought about that too, and it's it's very very good though, Jordan. I know you'll you'd love it. There's, um, it's shockingly violent and shockingly sexual. Hey. Yeah. Okay. And violently sexual, <laughs> and sexually violent. Actually. Actually it's, violent and actually sexual. It's it's crazy. And my recommendation when you start watching it, try your best at the beginning to really pay attention to what's going on. You know how sometimes when you watch a show, you can kind of be like. Looking at your phone every once in a while and da, 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 da. Oh, yeah, I get so distracted, especially yeah. if yeah. it's like it takes so long to get into the show. Like the first few episodes, it's like setting up the characters and whatnot. I find it so hard to get into it. I know. Can you put our screen up there? I'm just curious. Our screen? Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, but I find um, I don't know. What was I just about? Go- what? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god! I wish I could pull like that exact thing from every single episode <laughs> and find that and make it into a clip. Um, what what were you just saying uh, about the <laughs> violence? And... You could easily pick that out of a clip. No, it's because it's because you uh, asked me to move the screen and it got distracted. It looks so good. That's yeah. the key: is recording these things, pre-recording. Mm-hmm. And that, now, do you notice you have you 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 don't have a shitty webcam? Those those Logitech 1080p things are garbage. Anyway, oh, you heard it here. Now you have that one, and I'm using my phone for my camera. Oh, cool! iPhone iPhone 13 Pro. I love it. Ooh, Ooh someone's fancy. Um, yeah. So Game of Thrones. Even though we're kind of behind, like a lot of times we're talking about shows that are older, but uh, it's so worth going back and watching it and really pay attention, Jordan. Like when you do watch it, watch, you have so much to do. You have to watch better call Saul game of Thrones, but I don't, has Ryan seen game of Thrones? Uh, yeah. But a while ago, maybe. Yeah. But I don't like watching shows that people have already seen. Cause they're like, oh, I know this yeah, part. Oh my God. Watch like, this. Yeah. Oh my God. This part is so insane. You have to watch it. Like, it's like I hate that. I know, and I'm Remember guilty. Remember that joke, for, uh, Kevin James. Kevin yeah. James's joke, I love it. It's he. He goes, I hate going. Same premise that you just said, Jordan. Uh, my wife wants to go when she's seen a good movie. She wants me to go with her um, and see it. But he goes, I hate it because every time uh, we're watching it, she'll go, Oh, watch this part. He's like, Yeah, I'm watching it though, and she goes, No, I mean really watch it. And then it's an act out thing. It's a physical punchlines i don't know if he's like straining to watch yeah he's like okay (laughs) like as if it's i love that joke Um, and then this one yeah anyway (laughs) we're just doing parts of physical comedy for of an old uh, 
Comedy Central presents. It's one of the better ones. I I love love that one. Yeah. Um, underrated comic. But uh, I think people don't respect his comedy as much as they should. (laughs) Oh yeah, I'm guilty of doing that, especially for stand up. Because I, I I'll watch a stand up thing and I want you to watch it, and but it's so annoying when you want someone to watch something and you show it to them for, and you just want them to experience what you went through the first time and they're distracted. Like I'll I'll show you something and it's like the setup of this great joke I'm showing you from this comedian and you st- you'll start talking and be like, oh, oh where's the where's the cat did you see the cat I'm like oh just watch for a second I want you to experience. <laughs> what I'm experienced, I know. you know what I mean. I'm the I'm the same. And uh, and uh, and I'll do that for comedy all the time, <laughs> where I'll be like, oh, this bit, no, oh, this is a great bit. I'll turn it up, and then you'll you'll just be so just dis- even just saying Sorry. one word or or talking. I'm like, well, there's no way she's listening and talking at the same time, so it's not going to be the same. I'm gonna work on that. <laughs> You're the worst person to watch movies. Oh, jeez! I just said I'm gonna and work TV on that, with. and then I'm the worst person. No, not worst person. Worst person to watch movies and TV well, with. When I watch a movie or TV, I like no distractions. We press play, we watch it, and it's f- in one take. Like we're at the movies. We watch a movie together. We put it in ten minutes in, not forty, forty-five. Ten minutes in, you just get up without saying anything and just start making tea, and then you'll go. Oh, can you can you rewind it? <laughs> I'm like, Ugh, or can you pause it? Because you won't want to want me to pause it sometimes. You'll just because you'll just be like, you'll get up, start doing stuff, and then you'll go, oh, could you remind it? I'm just like, Ugh. yeah, but that's isn't that the bonus of being able to watch at home? You can make yourself a no, tea. No, ten minutes in. No, when you're at a theater, you don't, you can't do that. You hold, you really hold, you know, your pee. You you don't want to. Okay, interrupt. but then it continues. It's not like okay, ten minutes and then you've got your tea. You're good for the rest of the time. It continues through on. Through on. Yes. That's a new word. 50, every 15 to 20 minutes, you're up doing something. Then I'll just hear like, <laughs> you're brushing your teeth while watching behind me. <laughs> oh, really? Should we mention that you do this when we're watching? <laughs> tick, tick, tick with the dental floss. Yuck, yuck, yuck. <laughs> anyway, um, and also keep in mind that Julian also is 100% okay with just starting a movie or a show with the kitchen looking like an actual... Well, not often. Cracked in. Don't use my jokes on me. Oh, Ooh, I can't do that. I have to <clears throat> clean before I can sit down See? and enjoy. I have to, or else I'm thinking about how dirty the kitchen is. Yeah, but I don't time. do that. True. I, I get that, but I don't do that every single time. And also, if I do that, I just like, I'll be like, I'll clean after. That's another thing you'll start midway through. Just loading the dishwasher, starting the dishwasher. You don't like that? While watching a movie? No. No. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just finding this out 13 years in. Who likes to watch a movie distracted nonstop? I've I've never. Oh, I thought you meant you didn't like the sound of the dishwasher. No, just like doing it while we're watching a movie. Doing it. (laughs) Oof, that was loud. So sorry. That was a gross joke. Um. (laughs) <laughs> uh yeah uh, yeah oh by the way while i have you here let mm-hmm. me um remind you that this episode of uh, the julian dion show with jen grant is brought to you once again by cookie jar spelled k-o-o-k-i jar.com head on over to cookie jar sorry gordy am i bothering you oh my god i just started talking about cookie jar and gordy's leaving the room you heard the word cookie it's no yeah. oh yeah maybe that's what it is Anyway, head on over to Cookie Jar. Cookiejar.com, spelled K- K-O-O-K-I jar. Uh, head on over for high-quality accessories. Uh, what is it? Accessories. Uh, cannabis storage solutions, accessories, and app. Yes, they have an app. You can you can rotate your stock. You can uh, catalog your inventory, the freshness, and uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. The quality of the products are second to none. Canadian-owned and operated and the premise of the company started with, you know how you build yourself a booze bar, Jenny? And uh, sure you, you get yourself all the fancy glassware and, and uh, shakers and your favorite booze bottles and the long twisty spoon to, to, you use to make mojitos. You and the long twisty. Uh, there's got to be other accessories. It's always the long twisty The muddler. Spoon. I don't even think you use it to make a mojito, but I you say that every time. 
Or uh, Well, the premise is build yourself a butt bar. It's legal now in this country. Get your She's a butt bar. I'm just like, <laughs> in my ears is so loud. But instead of displaying these lame government containers, get yourself these beautiful, high-quality glass jars. They're, they're airtight, waterproof. They come with a five-time magnifying lens designed right into the lid so you can really display your flowers. Throw in some humidity packs from Bovida Ink in there to keep it uh, for fresh for Bovida weeks. Bovida Ink? What's that? It's the company of the uh, humidity packs. Oh. And uh, anyway, just just do yourself a favor. Head on over to Cookie Jar and just browse their products. Browse them. They, they have accessories. They have grinders. They have the on-the-go kit to give you an example. It comes with a lockable and smell-proof pouch. In there, it's on-the-go. So you take your weed on-the-go. There's a little grinder. It's the size of a credit card, compact size. It's metal. It's like a cheese grater, but for your weed. It comes with a little spring-loaded pocket one, one hitter. It comes with a bud pod. Fit one gram of dry flour in the bud pod. Get the premise? It's on the go. You get the one and a quarter size hemp and um, uh, uh, filters, rolling papers, organic, and the dube tube. Protect your dube with the dube tube. Airtight, waterproof. I mean, what more do you want? Get yourself the on the go kit. Available at cookiejar.com. These guys are Ottawa based. Support them. Head on over to jar.com and enter promo code JDSHOW in all caps for 15% off and free shipping anywhere in Canada. Cookie Jar, you put your weed in it. It's really weird doing it quiet mm-hmm. uh, over no music. That's true. But I'm really trying to get no copyright claims because even the royalty free music I use for that would still get dinged. I, I don't know. Anyway, who cares? I'm just gonna do it um, like it, this. It feels weird to you, but dry. But no one will even. Yeah, notice. I know. Yeah. And if if that, if that can somehow help our algorithm, algorithm. Oh. That would be great. Algorithm. What if all? Of, what if this episode gets 1.5 million viewers, changes our life? Do it. If you're watching this, share it. Talk about pe- talk about it to people. Please tell, do. Tell, tell all we ask is uh, you know how they say tell a friend, tell a friend. We ask you to tell 10,000 friends. That's it. If every person told 10,000 friends. Yeah. Is that too much to ask? I don't think so. I think it's the least uh, you could do. Actually, the least you could do is rate us. Leave a res- leave us a review on Apple Podcasts. And y'all have the app, that purple. Yeah. Y'all have the app, that purple podcast app on your iPhone. Mm-hmm. Apple product. Search the show, the Julian Beyond show with Jane Grant. Yeah, I mind. And leave us a review. We'd appreciate it. So it's almost three weeks until the wedding. Three motherfucking weeks. Three weeks. What the hell? It's. I know. Oh, I cannot oh wait. Gosh. It's going to be uh, so fun. That two weeks is going to be. There's a lot to happen between now and then, still, and whatever. But as soon as we get there. <laughs> I love how you all of a sudden realized how much I've been doing to plan the wedding. Well, I go. When I show the- you the v- vases, those. Well, I had this thought. The of- decor? I was like, can we bomb a wedding? Can people come to a wedding and be like, oh my God, it was so disorganized. They kind of didn't know what was happening next. There's like all over the place. Does that happen? Yeah, but... Can we bomb? Can we acknowledge... Yes, talk you've, about uh, that. No, it's unbelievable how much you've done. And it no, all but hit it was me. Re- it was really funny the way it hit you. Well, yes, because I was like, who else is... Like, who's who does all the things? But and tell like the, me. Yeah, you go like this. I show you what I bought off of someone... Um, for decor because there's you know there's facebook groups that sell pretty much brand new stuff like you use it once and then what do you do with this wedding decor so i i bought these really nice center like it was it's taken a while to figure out what to do and anyway i'm showing julian because it's in these boxes and i was like look this is what we're going to put on the tables and he goes wow how do you know how to do all this and i go well i don't i'm just like figuring it out like i think we don't give enough credit to people who plan weddings and i'm getting also a lot of help from um family and, but like I j- and people who know what they're doing and but so how do we know it's going to go well and it's all going to be nice looking nice in the decor like the decor that's what i'm trying to tell you because i'm doing it crazy <laughs> like jordan do, can all people details, bomb weddings there's so many details are there bad weddings? Uh, that's an interesting question. I guess I, I'm sure that they could. 
I just pictured like all of a sudden there's something like Mike's not plugged in if he wants to play something. Uh, we don't have a P. We're like, oh, how do we? And just nothing's organized. And I'm just like, oh, my God. Well, that's what I stress about. <laughs> I love how you haven't stressed about that until three weeks before the wedding. I know. Um, but uh, that's why I went through the whole itinerary because like the the couple days leading up and even the ho- from the hotel rooms to the rehearsal party um after after the rehearsal to uh gatherings because it all of a sudden hit me too because we had some out-of-town people come in and they're like so there's going to be events leading up because if you think about it these friends that are coming from really far away they don't want to just see you at the wedding because you're they're barely going to see you at the wedding yeah so it's like it please like it's our responsibility to beef up the fun for that week and couple days leading up to it do people always plan their own weddings all of a sudden i'm like yeah (laughs) who else is gonna do it i we i mean you could pay a wedding planner but that's really expensive eh, jordan yeah i don't i don't know exactly how expensive it is but i'm sure Mm. yeah cray cray well it's happening i know it's very exciting Hopefully, good weather. Uh. Daily dose, daily dose. Get the news from coast to coast. Uh huh. Daily dose, daily dose. All your news from coast to All coast. All the news and headlines from Jen Grant. And here's your daily dose for Monday, July fourth. <laughs> Oh, it's July 4th. Well, I mean, we're doing this on Canada Day. And we you're, you're right. We decided not to hide the fact that we were pre-recording it. At yeah. first, we're like, are we going to fool people? I don't like doing stream- that. I know. This, we're, we're just being honest. It's yeah. Friday. No, I don't think anyone gives July 1st. It. Most of the stuff we talk about doesn't have any relevance to the actual day. By the way, I w- asked Jordan her plans for today and then went off on a rant that's now 35 minutes long. Anyway, go ahead, and we'll get to uh, C-Day plans after. Go ahead, Jenny. Okay. All right. So we touched on this before about Canada Day, but celebrations, protests are planned for <clears throat> Canada Day uh, here in Ottawa. Um, and it's funny how, like, the protests are planned, and people know that. It's just like, okay. What are they protesting, though, again? Va- vaccinations and... Um, Restrictions, like just the it's premise like, of vaccinations, I like don't in know. general, needles, like, like what are the like medicine? I know. Some, what are they? There are no mandates anymore, are there? I, anyway. I didn't think so, but maybe in certain circumstances, like we, I went to the hospital the other day for a procedure. Just kidding, because <laughs> you always say like people are always imagining something, <laughs> something vaginal. <laughs> um, would you? <laughs> No, I was just going uh, for a blood test. But you have to wear a mask in the hospitals. But I think that's reasonable. Even if we carried on forever like that. I had to wear one at CBC. Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. See, that's, I don't know. Do you know what uh, what year Canada is turning this year? Don't look it up, anybody. I want a, a guess. 148. Jordan, don't look it up. Well, didn't we already celebrate 150? Oh, yeah, 150. So, 152? 153? 155. See, everybody's oh, lost track what? because of the pandemic. It's, it's said, because oh. of the pandemic. I said 145. 48, didn't you? Um, <clears throat> yeah, because I was thinking we just celebrated the 145th. <laughs> 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 well, you guys weren't totally off, but um, this is the first in person Canada Day in Ottawa uh, in the last three years. It's taking place at Le Breton Flats. I thought the reason that they moved the celebration from the Parliament Hills to Le Breton Flats is because of the protests, but there's also construction on the center block. The uh, Canadian Forces Snowbirds, you know how they usually do the um, snowbirds do the air show? Mm-hmm. They uh, had to cancel because of technical issues. Um, and so, no, I'm not. joking and so uh <laughs> so anyway it's gonna be at Le Breton start addressing Flats. every drop uh, actually i think it, i think it's funny oh that, that's not right yes it is right <laughs> you're so funny <clears throat> so sorry go ahead i'm such an annoying no it's okay it's okay 
So uh, I just think it's funny how like everyone's going to be at Le Breton Flats and all these protesters are going to be pro- protesting around Parliament Hill and no one's going to care. It's like they're just on their own protesting. Like, does does a protest count if everybody's at another location? You know what I mean? No. It's like, who cares? Yeah, but didn't you uh, run into, like, there's a lot of police downtown, eh, today and yesterday? Yeah, yesterday, yeah. I cannot so. still believe I was on my high horse being like, what is going on with Ottawa? <laughs> uh, here's another story. Dogs can, I want the dogs can face anxiety at home as their owners return back to the world. So I guess it feels like even though oh. it's happened a while ago where we started getting back into regular life, but I think it's really starting to rev up now, which I hope is very promising for all businesses to get back to normal because comedy i still feel like people are hesitant i think because there's murmurs of a possible other wave in the fall and i'm just like no 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 steve um, steve yeah. that we interviewed yeah he's convinced we're gonna be locked down again in the fall oh god convinced <clears throat> or that at least there'll, there'll be more uh measures and stuff i mean i hate to say it but i would not be surprised no 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 it's over I mean, what are they gonna do, do this forever every time there's a little spike I don't know. What do you Shut think? Shut it down. Yeah, I think it's over. It's over. I really hope so. I hope you're it's right. Done. We're done. People I, will take to the it streets. It is, it's, it just say it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Over. People will take to the streets if they start re in, uh, yeah, fucking re- reinstating restrictions. I'm. Uh, yeah. What well, is this? 2021. Says here that um, like dogs, because if you think about it, this is something I never realized. I didn't make the connection, but since the pandemic started, a lot of people got dogs. So they, they're the dogs have been very used to having their owners around all the time. It's kind of right. like Gordy's like that with us. So remember the first time we left uh, him alone, and we left like a camera on him. He he yeah. howled and cried. They get very attached to their owners, and they're pack animals. So when they're not around, their other other you know people they feel really uncomfortable so vets offer some suggestions to help the dogs um they one owner put cbd oil in their in the dog's food to calm him and sets up a doggy cam to check on him well <laughs> things have changed eh just take a bong a huff of a bong <laughs> blow it in your dog's face tell him to chill mom <laughs> cuz if you don't do that they can the the risk is that they can harm themselves by licking them themselves nonstop. Licking themselves raw. Yeah, <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> I know the laugh was weird. Well, because you made it sound like they were licking themselves, but like licking their paws. Don't go there, Jules. I didn't go anywhere. You just had a little mini spiral me- uh, and meltdown there. A uh-huh, meltdown. <laughs> um, so that would be a severe case if if it a dog did that, hey, but. Uh, the vet said, uh, I'd say the most common thing would be for vocalization, which can progress and become destructive behavior uh, of tearing up carpets, sofas, that sort of thing. And we've been really lucky because Gordy's never done that, but dogs can ruin your house. And I know because my sister had that experience, like ate the couch, like ate the couch. Yeah. Um, if you notice that your dog is uh, suffering from separation anxiety, so we live in such a uh, oh, is everybody okay? Like, and I like if your dad heard heard this, right? Like, even the way that we talk about our pets around your dad, I'm always like embarrassed. No, oh, well, we should be. It's it's embarrassing. Cause, yeah, because there, my dad would be like, if your dog is has separation anxiety, take it behind the head sh- shed and shoot it, and permanently separate it from your life. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, the longer that behavior goes on, the harder it is to get rid of. It gets more ingrained into their psyche, and then it's hard to break those habits. He said that owners should make their pets get sufficient exercise and have a place they feel comfortable in their home with their toys. And yeah, okay, with their crate. Uh, I have to say, Gordy is a completely different dog if we exercise him. Um, yeah, so anyway, I don't have much of a daily dose today. Okay. That's it. That is it? That is it. Oh, my God. God, mm-hmm. Jen, seriously? Daily dose. Serious solo. Serious solo. Get the news from coast to coast. That was awesome. Daily dose. Perfect. Daily dose. Really? All your news from coast to All coast. All the news and headlines from Jen Grant. <laughs> oh my God, that smile. Uh, here, do, do it for the thumbnail. 
Can you see the camera today? All right. <laughs> Fun in the sun. Okay, so oh. finally, yeah. Quickly, do you are you gonna remember what you're gonna say? Yep. Okay. I'll so never forget it. Just remember, everyone, that in one week on July 11th, Brad Yates will be on. And if you don't know who Brad Yates is, go Google him. Jordan, Google him afterwards. Okay, I'll send you a little uh, link to one of the way we got introduced to it was I worked with a business coach, and she recommended this guy. Because he helps, like, um, he does this tapping. And if you haven't heard of tapping, go check him out, Brad Yates. And uh, it's really interesting. And I want to find out how he got into it, why it works, what it's all about. But And and truthfully, I'm a little starstruck talking to him because <laughs> I've been looking at, we've been watching his videos, like, over the last, like, what, three years? We haven't years. in a while. but No, we haven't in a while. But I'd like to get back into it. Yep. And it's really cool how it works. Um, it seems very foo-foo and new agey, but I have zero doubt that it really, really works. And um, we're going to have him on and we're going to talk to him. He has like so many followers. He's like really, really, really popular. Like I watched him do a live video and how many people did he have live? It was like almost a thousand people just watching him yeah. live. Yeah, I can't remember what was it six six something six hundred something. Yeah, it was like, uh, but ha- not many people get that from their uh, no their YouTube live videos or whatever. So check that episode out. It's going to be really interesting, and I'm thrilled that he's able to do we it. We get close to six hundred. Oh. Ah. Um, uh, we get close to five hundred. Oh. This is the opposite of what you're supposed to be doing. We get close to... Uh, 20,000? Ding, 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 ding. Anyways. Oops. Oops. Shit. Anyway, it's going to be really... Was that, oh, was that a so part sorry. of the yes, I'm so sorry. It's quite a combo of uh, sounds. <laughs> he, it's going to be really, really good. And he, I think he's giving yeah, us wait. an hour of his time. I so. am too a little starstruck. <laughs> chatting with brad yates i really didn't think he was gonna like a lot of times he has so many followers on instagram that i'm shocked he actually saw the message how many like let me see it's crazy and um like he's really really popular have you heard of him jordan no i haven't well you're about to dive into the brad yates universe well he has twenty thousand nine hundred followers but i feel like he's even more popular than that you know like i feel like that doesn't hearts. represent huh that's like us we've got like three thousand and i'm like yeah but we're more popular i feel than that many yeah i don't know what i'm saying i'm trying i don't know sometimes i try to be funny and it just comes across as the most lame thing anyone's ever said <laughs> <laughs> no he's he's great and um Yep. Can't yeah, can't wait. So next week, tune in, Brad Yates. So, mm-hmm. Jordan, what did you end up doing on Canada Day? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, hang out with some friends. Fun. Uh, is in Montreal? The does Montreal because it's in Quebec? It's not a huge celebration, right? Because first of all, July first in Quebec is moving day, so most people are moving that are going to move. Yeah, true. I, and I can't remember the reasoning what do you behind mean? that. What? That's when people move on July 1st. You can move other months, but that's like the big day. Most people that move are going to move on July 1st. Why? I can't remember the reasoning behind it. It was a thing to do with leases back in the day and timing for something. And now it's just stuck. Like, it's just kind of a thing. Oh, never in heard Canada of that. Canada Day, the big, the big day in, in Quebec, of course, is Saint-Jean-Baptiste, which was Ju- June 24th. Right. So Canada Day is virtually, like, not really hugely celebrated, Right. Yeah, well, this will <clears throat> excuse me. This will be my first Canada Day here, so we'll see. It's. it's but I think I think everywhere will be sort of crazy because it's the first year back. To, right. I could have just no I, restrictions. I think regardless, people are gonna want to just party. Yeah. Sometimes you say you know you say things and as it's coming out of your mouth, you go, "I'm pretty sure this might not be true." <laughs> <laughs> as, as as I was saying that just now, I'm like, I, I think I'm I like I heard a fraction of that and i just went with it like the july 1st thing thing? yeah no i did i have heard that too i don't i don't know if it 
is so much of a thing now, but I know that it was. Right. So you're not I off. I've never heard of that. In Wakefield, it used to be huge here. Remember on the river, they would do a river parade? All yeah. flotillas. The river was packed. And that hasn't been the case in like seven or eight years. Yep. It's true. It was huge, Canada Day, because I don't know if there's new rules or something. I don't know what changed. They used to do the big raft, that crazy raft. Uh, you know what? With I, flags I, everywhere. And remember when your mom was at the manse, we would just see all of these people on the river. Like, so just fun. so many. And radio music playing. Well, and remember, all like, all of a sudden more rules came in here. It was kind of like this was no man's land and, like, anything goes here. And I think that was. When when Wakefield was really weird and quirky, it was because it's like no one was paying attention to anything over here. And now all of a sudden more people move here and now there's more rules. Like you can't yeah. swim at the cover bridge and you can't have that houseboat thing that they used to build. It was like this crazy huge... Yeah. Like, and now it's dangerous and, and you know, it, it takes all the fun out of it. I know. It really does. Friggin' rules. I could, I mean, I know rules have their place and we need them, but like, yeah. <clears throat> so what do you say? What do you say? Hey, hey, what do you say? Should we all go uh, celebrate our Canada Day? Yeah. Should we do five minutes on the after show? That's or it. nah? I think yeah. yeah. Yeah, sure. Why not? Kay. Let's do it. All right. Well, look, we're doing this episode without music. Just because we're trying to build our YouTube thing. And so um, usually it would me, 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 it kick in right now. Mm. And we'd say, thank you so much. Please remember to subscribe. But do all those things anyway. Remember to subscribe. The Julian Dion Show with Jen Grant and Jordan Grant. We're available everywhere you get your podcasts. We're building the YouTube side of things. So subscribe on YouTube and follow us on Facebook and uh, Instagram. Jordan does phenomenal work. And um, check out our clips and all that good stuff. Share the show. Talk about the show. Leave, leave, us, leave us a review on iTunes. And, of course, join us on the Julian Dion After Show with Jen Grant and Jordan Grant. Available exclusively at patreon.com slash jdshowpod. Patreon.com slash jdshowpod. Also, head on over to Cookie Jar. K double O K I jar dot com and enter promo code JDSHOW in all caps to receive 15% off and free shipping. Anywhere in Canada, Jen, I love you. Love you. Jordan, you're the best. We'll see you at the after show in one minute. Love it. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you when we see you. And until then, watch your head. Yeah, buddy. <laughs>